I wonder what's in the box. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So it's the start of 2021 and we're out in the garage on a nice cold Sunday afternoon in lockdown. But we're not going to let that dampen our spirits and I'll show you what's in the box now. So what we have here is some cradle adapters from DA Performance which are going to go on the Mark 1 cradle. So about a month before the end of 2020 we were messing about with the cradles on the Mark 1 Fiesta um, but we then realised that we needed a Mark 1 cradle with these adapters. Um, so yeah, DA Performance produces and I think they're about £44, something sort of along them lines and it comes with all the bulk kit and that as well. So what we plan to do is fit the cradle and the engine and uh, fit them adapters as well today. Alright, it is quite cold out here. Dad's uh, wearing his Marcus Hayes <laughs> merch that I got him for Christmas. But yeah, first job is to whack these on and I'll show you all how to do that and then we'll get the engine lifted up and try and get it all in position. <laughs> Here's what you get in the kit. So you've got these two big bolts which actually mount into the original cradle location on the car, um, go through the, the chassis. And then you've got the new location for the cradle which these two studs go through the cradle. And the reason for these is just to shift the engine about an inch to, to the near side of the vehicle and also it lowers it down a tiny bit as well. So with the DA Performance Engineering Kit, um, there's six mil Allen hex bolts. All they do is just bolt up there into the original mounting points for the cradle. Just before we start to lift the engine up, we do need to do something that we forgot to do when we were removing the engine, which is take out them gear cables. So we're gonna get in the vehicle, or the Mark I, and remove the top bits and undo it from the bottom because we're gonna be replacing that. Obviously we're running a five speed box now, anyway. Right, so we're in the car now, and we're just gonna remove this top part of the gear stick to see what's underneath, see what we've got to undo to remove the linkage below. Just going to twist this gear knob out, off it comes, I'll take off this gator as well, just slides off, and we're going to try and get this off. There you go, lovely. So as you can see, no one's the car, and I believe these 13 mils are holding it on. Um, so I'm going to remove them, take the spring off first though. Just on the last one now, but Dad's in the cab holding it up, just in case it was to fall on me. Why right, do you want to let go Dad? Yeah, yeah look at that. Happy days. That's the Mark 1's gear selector out, nice and easy, you saw how we done that, um, apologies if uh, it was flickering a little bit in that time lapse, this torch has got a mind of its own sometimes but it's quite useful and it's quite bright. Now we've got the selector out of the way, gives us a lot more room in the bay, so we're going to get the engine strapped back up onto the engine crane, the steel of 2020 as we're calling it, and uh, yeah, I'll whack it on time lapse, get the engine in position and try and line this up. So when we were messing about with the cradles last time we were in the garage, uh, we put the Mark II cradle um, pieces onto the Mark I because that's what we thought we needed. But all you need to know is that you need a Mark I cradle and the Mark I um, bit that bolts onto the gearbox. Don't even know what you're going to call it, but yeah, so we're just going to swap out these now. So we've got um, the Mark I cradle as it should be when it comes out with the old engine. So 
So this is how the cradle would have been sitting when we took the original 950cc engine out. And so all we're going to do now is bolt it to the new gearbox we got. It's an XR2 one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so that's the XR2 gearbox that we're going to bolt the Mark 1 cradle to. So this is the stage we're at the moment, trying to get the Mark 1 cradle onto the gearbox of the XR2, but the this sump we bought didn't have enough shaving off of it. As you can see, it had stuff shaving off of it, but I just can't get that bolt in because it just needs a tiny little bit more taken off. So this bit can butt up to it a bit more. Um, but my dad's old angle grinder I gave out the ghost a couple of weeks ago, so we need to get a new one of them and then we'll take a little bit more for that. It also would have been nice to get the engine in the bay and ready to sort of mark up where the engine mount's gonna go. But what we've also realized is that we're gonna have to notch out a bit on this chassis leg like people do. So yeah, we wanna try and get the gearbox up and in line and then we can roughly see what we need to cut out of here to fit the gearbox. But it's just as much of a learning curve for us, but this is just a real life scenario. We're, uh, we've never done this before, so, and that's probably all we're gonna be able to squeeze into this video before we start messing about grinding the sump and then lifting the engine up and cutting out that bit on the chassis leg. However, saying that, I have got something to mention to you guys, so stick around and I'll be back in a minute. So now I'm inside, I can finally announce what I've been working on the past couple of months. So like any small YouTuber, I thought I'm gonna go out and make some stickers, but I'm gonna do them to the best of my capability and to the best quality. I'm forever buying people's stickers because I love filling up my toolbox here at home as well as the one at work. Before I start to talk about the design and the ideas behind it, I need to give Jamie Smith a big shout out because he really helped me with the ideas and actually producing this design and putting it down on paper. So here is the sticker. As you can see, it's got my Mark II Fiesta with the steels on and it's also got the tagline, as I'm calling it, of the home of all things Ford. Might not pick up too well on the GoPro. Also got obviously the Mark II Mitch below that and it's got all my icons in the overall Ford badge. Yeah, really happy with this. Nice little border to finish it off. It is worth mentioning that um, this is fully laminated, it can be left outside, it won't fade, weather resistant, so um, I really didn't skimp on the quality of these. You will be able to tell if you do purchase one, they're nice and thick and should be nice and durable. So the idea behind the sticker is actually these old Ford badges. I think they're really cool little things and uh, yeah, these are like dealership badges. You can find them on eBay and uh, yeah they're all a similar sort of design most of them look like this with a Ford badge at the bottom which is what I went for but yeah I'm just really happy and I wanted to make something quite unique and niche if that's the word and I think I've achieved that so for anyone wanting to purchase one of these stickers I'm actually selling them for £3 each or two for a fiver and all of the proceeds are going to go back into the YouTube channel and back into the projects that you see if you would like to purchase one, then just give me a message on Instagram, which is mark 2 mitch or give me a message on Facebook, which is also mark 2 mitch If you don't have either of them, or you want to contact me a different way, my email will be left in the description box below. And yeah, just tell me how many you want, and I'll send you my PayPal over. It is worth noting that all UK postage is completely free, and it's just £1.70 to post anywhere else in Europe. Right, I think that's enough self-plugging there. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with how these stickers have come out. And that's all I think we've got time for in today's video. I know it was a little bit slow and we didn't get too much work done, but this is just a real life process and we'll have a lot more to do next time round. I hope you did all enjoy the video and thank you once again for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a like. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to see more. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. It would have been nice to get this up in the bay and um... Fuck!
Oh. Also, it is worth noting that all UK postage is absolutely free and it's just 100, 170. 